top five ghosts caught on camera. Really, really haunted. Lee and his family have been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in their home in England. Over the last two years, Lee says that the supernatural encounters have become more frequent, more terrifying, and more violent. Lee documents these strange incidents on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Now over the years, I've featured a few of the spooky occurrences in Lee's house, and it seems that whatever might be haunting the family home is not going anywhere. Lee has cameras recording the living room and bedroom as he, his wife, and their cute little puppy Luna are fast asleep in bed. What happens that night throughout the house is truly disturbing. First, downstairs in the living room, the heavy couch slides across the floor as if it's nothing. Then back upstairs in the bedroom, puppy Luna wakes up from her sleep and starts frantically looking around as if she's hearing or seeing something that frightens her. She calms down a bit, but then suddenly a white translucent figure moves in front of the camera, startling Luna once again. A desk chair seems to move towards the bed on its own. Then suddenly, the small dog is spooked by something that seems to be right next to the bed. She begins to whimper, which finally wakes Lee. So Luna's behavior and reactions throughout this video are what makes this footage so creepy and so compelling. It's almost as if she can see something the family can't, and it terrifies her. So did Lee and his family capture extreme paranormal evidence on camera? You decide. The Haunting of the Jefferson Hotel The historic Jefferson Hotel was left abandoned for two years before the new owners, Jeremy and Pam Jones, bought the 170-year-old building in Jefferson, Texas. The two paranormal enthusiasts poured their love and a lot of hard work into the restoration of the allegedly haunted hotel and held a grand reopening of the Jefferson in October of 2020. The hotel has seen its fair share of dark history. It was built in 1851 and first opened as a cotton warehouse, where it is said that two seven-year-old child workers lost their lives under the harsh working conditions. In the late 1800s, the hotel was a brothel. During that time, it is said that a teenage, quote, working girl named Judy lost her life at the hands of a client. She passed away in the bathtub of room 19. Today, the apparition of Judy is said to appear in the midst of hot showers, and sometimes even scribbles messages pleading for help on the bathroom mirror. One guest at the historic Jefferson Hotel says that she was able to capture the frightening incident on camera. Georgia Canfield is staying overnight at the hotel with her mother and grandmother when the three suddenly see a chilling message on their hotel mirror. I just noticed it. I don't know if it was there when I came in here or when I started running the hot water. I don't know. I, I just know that we came in here to wash my face. That was not there. Can you confirm it? That was not. We checked that earlier. I didn't see it earlier. Do you see it now? Yes, I see it. That's why I'm not going in there. Georgia, her mother, and grandmother have no idea where the message came from, and their freaked out reactions to the strange event seem very sincere. But that's not the end of the Jefferson Hotel's haunted history. In 1912, a pregnant bride named Lydia Grigsby took her own life inside room 19 after her fiancé sent word that he would not be coming to the wedding. Today, male guests traveling alone have reported seeing the beautiful ghost of a bride with golden hair. 
One night on a tour through the hotel, guests Angela and Cody Goins might have captured the Jefferson Hotel Ghost Bride on camera. Using the live photo mode on an iPhone, which snaps a photo in a quick three second video, they capture what appears to be a bride-like apparition. You can almost make out a dress, a face, and even a bridal train. Now, a much more disturbing apparition has also been witnessed at the hotel. Some guests have even reported waking up at night to find the horrifying figure standing in their hotel room, just watching them sleep. Now, the new owners of the historic Jefferson Hotel, Jeremy and Pam Jones, are starting to experience paranormal activity in their own hotel. One night at 2 a.m., Jeremy is doing some work in the hotel hallway, and this happens. There's no audio on this video, but Jeremy claims that he heard a voice right before this hotel door mysteriously unlatches and swings open on its own. Now that's creepy enough, but that's not the only night they capture something truly bizarre on camera. Cut to another late night, it's 4 a.m. and Jeremy and his wife are fast asleep in bed when one of the motion sensing cameras in the upstairs hallway picks up something or someone moving around. The hotel is completely empty, so Jeremy fears that an intruder might be inside. He runs upstairs, but as he looks down into the hallway from the stairwell, he doesn't see anyone. He wakes up his wife Pam and they look back at the security footage. They are both shocked by what they find. At the end of the hallway, right outside room 19, which is said to be the most haunted room in the hotel, someone or something seems to be walking. Jeremy and his wife Pam search the hotel together but find no one inside. Who or whatever this strange figure is, it seems to have mysteriously just disappeared. So is the historic Jefferson Hotel haunted? And did the owners and guests capture real paranormal activity on camera? Let me know what you think. You can watch more paranormal moments and captures in the hotel on Jeremy and Pam's official Facebook and YouTube channel, both of which are named The Historic Jefferson Hotel. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Whispers in the dark. So I just could not find a Thai language translator for this next video. So I put out a request on Instagram at the last minute and Nuke's top five viewers Umberto and Pammy Gutierrez actually stepped up and volunteered to translate this video. So a huge thank you to both of them. Follow them on Instagram. So paranormal investigator Dr. B from the Thai YouTube channel Ghost Ambassador travels to an abandoned country club in Thailand with his team. Locals believe that the tall building is extremely haunted by angry spirits. It is said that two men who were hanging out on the roof of the building were pushed off by something that they couldn't see. The men fell five stories to the ground. One man tragically lost his life, but the other man lived to tell the horrific tale. Dr. B interviews a local man who lives nearby. The man explains to the team that the fourth floor of the abandoned club is the most supernaturally active. Many visitors have seen the terrifying apparition of a girl stroking her hair. And those who are brave enough to walk through the building say that they get the strange feeling that someone or something is following close behind them. While the team is interviewing the man in front of the creepy building, the camera's microphone starts to pick up odd, unexplained whispers. An unknown voice seems to whisper the words Chwai Duai, which in English translates to Please Help.
These chilling whispers occur several times throughout the video. But it gets even creepier. When they talk about the female spirit who is said to haunt the fourth floor of the creepy abandoned building, this happens. Did you see it? A strange white translucent figure seems to move, perhaps even walk, straight into a solid wall. The figure seems to have no particular shape, but viewers believe it to be the spirit of the girl who haunts the fourth floor. So, are the stories true? Is the country club haunted by angry, restless spirits? Or just what is going on here? Tell me what you think. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Sabrina Lozito shares a home with her boyfriend Christopher and their two children in Bayville, New Jersey. The couple claims that they experience frequent strange paranormal events in their home. And it's not so surprising as the house has a gruesome history that sounds like something right out of a horror movie. You see, years ago the house was relocated and it was placed right on top of an old cemetery where it still stands to this day. As if that wasn't disturbing enough, Sabrina also says that an elderly man passed away in the home just before they moved in. So, one night Sabrina and her boyfriend are watching a movie when their dog suddenly starts freaking out. But they have no idea why. Then, only moments later, they get a notification from their CCTV camera that there's movement in their backyard. They rush to check their footage, and what they find is chilling. This is my video camera was recording and no one was out back. Took a look, no one was out back. Check this out. Watch in between the square. Mainly watch this spot right here. You can see a shadow up here. Boom. And no one's there. And then you see this little orb right here. And then you watch. Keep... Babe. Look at that. No one's out back. It just sits there too. It does, it just sits right there. And you can see the whole shadow, like a person. That's nuts. I don't know how long it sits goes there away. for. Or goes away, comes back. Now watch, the person is gonna disappear. It's like they just, it's like they're just, boom. Boom, gone. A strange shadow appears out of nowhere and an odd source of light can be seen floating in their backyard. Sabrina and Christopher say that they immediately went outside and checked their yard. But there was no one there. After posting the video to TikTok, there were some doubters that said, ah, it was probably just the shadow of a person standing there, maybe holding a flashlight. But the couple wasn't having it. They posted a follow-up video to actually attempt to debunk their own video using the methods suggested by viewers. So Sabrina's standing there. All right, walk, walk outside real quick. No, she has no shadow. Shut the light off. I know it. All right, walk over there. No shadow. Look at that shit. So did their CCTV camera capture something paranormal on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user Gabrielle and her friend Ashley go on a road trip to explore an abandoned asylum. 
the Northern State Mental Hospital in Cedar Woolley, Washington. The building opened in 1912 and was the forced home for many mentally ill patients until it shut its doors 61 years later in 1973. Gabrielle and Ashley are exploring the property when something happens that absolutely shocks them both. Fearing someone might be in danger, Gabrielle says she immediately called 911 after hearing this bizarre screaming. But after posting her video to TikTok, one viewer reached out to Gabrielle to calm her down. The viewer explained that there is actually another mental facility nearby that is still open to this day. And maybe that was the source of the bizarre screams they heard. When looking at a map, there is indeed a psychiatric treatment center in the area. However, it's not as close as you might think judging from the volume of those screams. Ashley. From where Gabrielle and Ashley were standing, it's actually about half a mile to the new treatment center. And in between that space, there are several groups of trees, a patch of woods, a flowing creek, and also several blocks of commercial buildings. So the question is, could one disturbed woman's voice travel that far through all of those obstacles and still be heard that clearly half a mile away? Did Gabrielle simply hear the screams of a disturbed patient? Or could it be something else? Let me know what you think. Now this next video was reposted on a random TikTok account that just didn't give any credit to the original video poster. I've looked for hours, but I wasn't able to find the original source. However, the video is very creepy, so I think it deserves a spot in the top five. In the video recorded by a security camera, you see a little girl sitting in her bed, seeming a bit distressed. What happens next is truly bizarre. The girl is obviously scared as you see her looking at something in her bedroom. A chair then suddenly begins to rock back and forth on its own. Luckily, the child's father sees the activity and rushes in to rescue his terrified daughter. Now, obviously, I have no idea what happens next. So if you happen to know the original source for this video, please let me know down in the comments. Dead End Fans of popular YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV have requested many times that he make a return visit to investigate the Weeping Angels Cemetery in Florida. It's no surprise that this particular graveyard is so popular amongst Franco TV viewers. He's been there many times and caught some extremely scary paranormal activity. One of the most memorable of these encounters was the sighting of an old lady just roaming the graveyard. Do you need help? Yeah, not doing that. Now, Frank has never claimed that this person was a ghost or anything supernatural. But many of his viewers seem convinced that the odd visitor was in fact some sort of paranormal apparition. This time, Franco TV is back again to explore the ominous, empty Weeping Angels Cemetery late at night. First, he makes his way to the same area where he originally spotted the elderly woman. Things immediately start to get very strange. I got some stuff on the floor here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's creepy. That thing just started moving. And there is no wind. I wish I had a flag to show you. What the f There's no wind. Look, look at the leaves. All right, hold on. I mean, let me try 
get this on. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, I'm not touching that. I don't know what that's about. Frank finds an abandoned pair of leopard patterned slippers at the exact same spot where the elderly woman had been seated in the previous video. Even creepier, a plastic pot suddenly begins to move on its own. Frank points out that there's no wind or draft that could have made the pot move, and of course the occurrence is especially bizarre considering the location. But Franco TV continues on and takes a turn down a small hidden dirt road behind the cemetery. This is when things take a terrifying turn. I just got movement. Here. Ouch. I literally have bugs eating me alive right now. Holy shit. I actually have somebody there. Hello? What? I legitimately just had somebody. Or like a dark shadow. Frank says he hears movement coming from somewhere down the creepy path. When he points his thermal imaging camera towards the sound, he sees a dark figure standing in the middle of the road. A figure that doesn't seem to emanate any body heat on the thermal image. Even creepier, the figure seems to be getting closer and closer. But when Frank turns on his flashlight, there's no one there. When he goes back to his thermal camera, the figure has now disappeared. He calls out to it into the distance, but no one answers. No longer feeling safe walking along the spooky dirt road, Franco TV decides to get into his car and instead drives down the creepy pathway from the safety of his vehicle. It did not go well. Wait, I'm hearing noises. Oh, no, 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 nope, nope. I'm hearing stuff. No, screw that. Holy There is somebody in there. That's not even, I, I'm, that's not a ghost. There is somebody legit inside the graveyard or maybe it is i don't know i'm not claiming anything all i'm saying is that somebody's there and that scared the hell out of me um, franco hears a sudden loud rustling coming towards him from the dark woods he hits the gas and just gets out of there now franco is undecided on whether he experienced something paranormal or just happened to capture someone wandering outside the cemetery late at night for some reason but what makes this footage even more chilling is that back in 2019 on this very same dirt road, police found a body. Someone who had lost their life in a violent altercation. So could this mysterious dark figure be their restless spirit? Or just what or who could this unexplained figure be? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this full video and many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter right there. Hopefully, I'll see you next week.